Okay, hello, hi, and welcome to my channel, uh, Super Linux. Now, in this video, I want to show you how to use uh, two inch eyepieces of the telescope and the 1.25 inches of the telescope, okay, over uh, or on a microscope. This is uh, my mic microscope, okay. Here it has uh, an opening of uh, a diameter uh, 23.2 millimeter and it has the same sizes here 23.2 millimeters this is a bino the binocular or the bino viewer of the uh, microscope so we're going to use these okay in a smooth uh, proper way okay uh, so let's start with the 1.25 inch eyepieces and I'll tell you the secret behind it okay is that you should <coughs> uh, yeah you should uh, have it like uh, this okay at the end so the parts are as follows okay you should get a, <coughs> uh, like this is a t2 adapter and we use this with the two inch adapter too okay and we have to get a uh, here at uh, this adapter this size here from the inside okay as you saw you can install the 1.25 uh, the one and quarter inch okay like this okay we have a screw for it so it can be held okay so uh, next is this size the, the threads over here remember those sizes are important okay so the size here of the threads is m42 okay the threads from the t2 is m42 okay now there's a, a t adapter okay also not a, or a t1 adapter the t1 adapter has this side okay is 1.25 inch or a 2 inch okay the tube over here but it has the same threads M42 over here. It's in millimeters, okay? That's the threads over here, see those screw threads. It's not threads of your stitches, okay? Or your claws. So, you're going to install it like this. I have a screw in the end. Uh, yeah, the threads are thought as uh, very thin, so that's why it's <laughs> it'll be a little bit uh, okay, so now we have two like this. Okay, and we're gonna give you a view of cats or my feedback of how uh, what's going on with the uh, microscope. Okay, now I don't have samples and things like that, biological samples and things like that, but uh, what I have is something that lets the light pass through, which is a uh, the seat belt from my spot from the supermarket nearby. So we're gonna hold them now. The eyepiece is like this. See, they don't fall. Okay. So let me just tell you what will happen. <coughs> now you have to understand one thing. Okay, this is very important. Okay. Now if it doesn't focus, you need a barlow. You have to install a barlow lens. Okay. Uh, you have to test it. Uh, because barlows usually extend the focal length of the eyepiece, uh, the the lenses, okay, that's behind them or before them, okay. So uh, this the it will help you focus when you cannot focus, okay. Generally, it's like this. Okay, this is what I do usually with a telescope. On a microscope, I think it will do the same. Just try if it doesn't uh, uh, focus, just use that, okay. Uh, or switch the. Uh, like uh, switch the uh, objective lenses here because they are switchable. Okay, this is a relatively switchable uh, objectives. Okay, now I'm gonna turn on the lights uh, or the light below. Okay, and this is a white paper so the light can pass through and we can uh, like uh, magnify the uh, letters written on the, the seat. Okay, so here I use the focuser by the sound there's a focuser below okay. okay and it's so easy to use the 1.25 inch eye pieces okay and they will focus depending on uh, the uh, magnification that you're gonna use here I have the maximum which is 100 uh, the 100 times objectives okay um, it's just um, yeah, I will have to remove the glass here, the glass sheet 
part of the slide. Um, since it's just a pip, it doesn't need a lot to move it. You can move it by hand. Okay. Now here I have 20, uh, uh, 20 millimeter for. Uh, uh, focal length of the eyepieces, okay, so uh, you go and find the uh, rule for finding the magnification power of uh, the uh, <coughs> uh, Of the single eyepiece, okay, if you have only the focal length Let's go to a smaller level because I can't see you. I can't stand what's there. Mm, yeah, now it's it's focusing. Okay, let's see. to go lower so I, I can catch something to be seen okay because we understand I'm looking for the letters on the paper okay I've said that something okay and okay now I'm going to use the hundred times Forty times. That was ten times. Now it's a forty times and uh, objective. Mm -hmm. Cool, sweet. Okay, so it's as you can see, it's so easy. You can still use that because the uh, those are a little bit wider, but here and here is smaller uh, at the. Uh, ends here smaller, but, but because uh, they are wider, they are maybe more relieving to your eyes. So uh, it depends on you, but it's just uh, to me, it's very relieving. Okay. And uh, now this is the uh, <coughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, this is the uh, uh, 1.25 inch. Now. Now you see how to use the two inch, okay, uh, uh, eyepieces, okay, it's just for the sake of comparison and the size. I know you you know it's bigger, but seeing is believing. So you can see uh, here, see the difference, okay, okay. So how are we going to do that? We're not going to use the cups that you saw here, okay, those cups. Okay, we are not going to use them. We, we still have to use the T2, but we need a, a, a converter or reductor, which is uh, this ring, okay, with the T2. I install the T2 over here, okay, and uh, this uh, type, you have to look for these, okay, I'm 42, I'm 48, okay, so <coughs> here I have installed it over here. Okay, so this here from the inside is M48, M48, it's in millimeters, M48 threads. So you can see there are threads inside it, okay. So I install it and then I install inside it the T2, okay. <coughs> you can still use it over here. Okay, but I myself have... Um, I custom made this. This is a custom made. I went to a lot of, a lot of uh, machines workshop. Okay, a lot of workshop, and they made me this. Okay, this here can take. I have here another 
uh, other two inch eyepiece. Okay, I can just install it over here like this. And then I can have it, maybe if you want to see. Okay, it can be taken over here, but here I just want to show you the uh, binocular type uh, with two inch. Okay, uh, and this is heavy. Okay, it is a stainless steel. Okay, so um, I don't know whether you can get something in uh, in aluminium type a block side because it has to be this one has to be a block. Okay, complete the block, and they have to cut uh, and drill. Uh, now, okay, I'll get here. Okay. Uh, take care of the uh, lenses, don't scratch them. Okay, it's very important to keep keep them safe keep from scratching. Okay. Now we have to uninstall the one that's here, this T2. And here. Come on. Okay. Now th that's all we have to do is just this and this here. Okay, now one thing I want to tell you that uh, this one here is, uh, is from Angel Eyes. This one here is a Celestron, original Celestron. Okay, now uh, just for your information, I do have a case of Celestron, the 2 inch eyepiece kit. Okay, so this is for telescopes usually. But you know, I have lots of things that are related to eyepieces and uh, the uh, microscopes and telescope accessories. I, I consulted a lot of this on my channel. So uh, I think myself have uh, finished everything needed or required for both <laughs> microscopes and telescopes. Okay, I'm just a collector so, and a hobbyist. Uh, but I have some now good experience in uh, telescopes. Uh, now, <coughs> here, this one versus this one, you can see the difference in the uh, sizes. See the silver side is shorter than the, and even if you want to say like this, okay, the angel eyes one is short, or this, this is, this is the, uh, this is the celestial one, okay, this is the angel eyes one. I made the mistake, but anyway, the angel eyes one is longer than the celestial one, okay, so, uh, like, maybe you have to do something here in order for the angel for the celestron one okay but i anyways i bought another one like this the angel eyes okay uh, they will be on the same uh, same level same uh, height okay if you want to say okay because they don't have to be in this, uh, different heights because you really need to see you know so yeah so let's cover this okay and i'm gonna give you my review now first if, uh, here I do have some span, okay. And what I was, wanted to also say uh, say to you about the, uh, the this uh, sh short or this uh, length here, that you can just add any ring here, okay, in order to uh, compensate the height, okay. Uh, to this allow the eyepiece from getting in, okay. So uh, here I have a good span, but uh, we're going to see what will happen if I do ex uh, like put my own eyes. Your eyes are uh, maybe wider, like the span here is maybe wider, nearer, depends on you. Okay. And I cannot show you, like I said, when it's a stereo, I cannot show you what's going on with the uh, microscope. Okay. But I'm going to give you my review. Uh, and I cannot, not because I uh, don't want to, but because the <laughs> it's just the way it is, okay? Okay, maybe. We, I will have to, because you'll see two rings and they have to, uh, to, 
to be overlapping okay you have to see them overlapping well uh, to make them overlapping you have to get it like completely like this okay touching um not that much okay i, I know it was sort of expecting that but i was not sure okay i was expecting that to happen okay now Okay, now it's the issue that I'm using a very high magnification. So if I lowered it to the four times, for example, here in the in the microscope, okay, I can four times is the smaller one here. See this one, the small one. So if I just lowered it, okay, I can easily use the uh, two-inch eyepieces. so hard actually now this is the second time I tested it before this time I had another test okay and it was uh, this time it's too hard I don't know why okay okay it's too hard to use okay It's too hard to use anyway. So maybe if I just made it that side, yeah, this way it works. But you see things too, not not one. Okay. Uh, maybe I need to fix something like. It is hard, it is hard. Anyway, it's hard. So just I feel like every time sweeping of uh, jumping from one the other to the other, okay? But the two or the 1.25 inch is okay. Okay. <coughs> that was fun. Really fun. Okay. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Um uh, thanks for watching guys. Please uh, like uh, <coughs> have a look <laughs> and uh, share the uh, a video with your friends and uh, all the people that you know okay thanks for watching